Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about short stature in children. So if you like the video related to total health, I will like to request you all please to subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, and give a thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Parents and children, especially tweens and teenagers, often worry when they notice that they are shorter than uh, many of their peers and classmates of the same age. While many medical conditions can cause children to have short height for some children being short is expected and perfectly healthy. This is one time when kids can blame their parents or at least their genes for something. Most children are short because they have short parents. Genetic plays a vital role in how tall a person will be. But there are other factors too. Typical growth patterns. Before puberty, boys and girls will grow at more or less similarly raised. On average, that's about 10 inches by their first birthday and about an additional 4 inches by their second. After that, children will grow at a decreasing rate as low as about 2 inches a year until puberty begins. Children hit their peak growth spurt in puberty. For girls, puberty usually begins when they are between the ages of 8 and 13, while for boys, it usually starts between the age of 9 and 14. Girls grow about 3 to 3.5 inches per year during their growth spurt. Boys grow after about 4 inches per year during this time. After their peak growth spurt, teenagers will see their height growth slow down steadily until they reach their full adult height. About 4 to 5 years after their peak growth spurt occurs, uh, most teenagers will reach their adult height somewhere between the ages of 14 and 16, depending on uh, when they started puberty. Now, average growth per year, ages 0 to 1. The girls, 10 inches per year and the boys 10 inches per year in the age of one and two four inches per year girls and four inches per years boys age two to puberty two inches per year girls and two inches per year boys peak growth spurt three to three point five inches per year girls and four inches per year boys height velocity when evaluating short children um, more important than when they are on a growth chart is how they have been growing to take that at this pattern of growth or a child height velocity you usually have to look at several years of growth typical growth in children should follow the growth and curve fairly closely so even if they are in a very low percentile if that is where they have always been then they are probably growing normally if your child is crossing percentiles or lines on the growth curve then there may be a medical problem causing their short height for example if a girl starts puberty at the age of eight then she might hit her growth spurt at age nine and be done growing by the time she is 13 year old on the other hand if a girl does not start puberty until she is 12 then she might continue growing until she is 17 years old. Then, now I'll be talking about the causes of short height. When it comes to short height, there are several different diagnoses short child could receive. Now I'll be talking about the familial short height. Girls usually reach their pubertal growth spurt about two years earlier than boys. So many girls are taller than boys in early adolescence. The most common reason why a kid might be short in, um, is because of familial short uh, height or a family history of being short. In other words, if both parents are short, their children will likely be short too. That's why one of the most accurate prediction method of a child height is called the Tanner method, which average both per parent height, then that's two and a half inches if you are estimating boys' height, or subtract two and a half inches if you are estimating a girl's. Children boys uh, short uh, height is familiarly usually grow at a typical rate. They follow a growth curve that is below but parallel to the normal growth curves. Testing is not routine uh, required for familiar short height but if a bone age is done the result would be normal and not delayed now the constitutional growth delay constitutional growth delay is a condition where children do not grow as much as their peers it can appear at different de developmental stages these kids are often called late bloomers and it's about twice as common in boys often it occurs when puberty and the associated growth spurt is delayed children with constitutional growth delay tend to grow at um, or below the third percentile for their height their rate of growth tends to be two to two and a half inches per year they will often continue to grow when other children have stopped growing and they should reach a final adult height that is near their target height now i'll be talking about the growth hormone deficiency 
growth hormone is required for normal growth if a child pituitary gland makes you little they will likely be short and often looks younger than their chronological age growth hormone deficiency may be congenital meaning is present at birth or it may be required later in life from a head injury brain tmr mass or pituitary gland abnormality other times doctors don't know the cause so now i'll be talking about the chronic disease celiac disease inflammatory bowel disease kidney disease and diabetes can all affect how much your child grows as can chronic symptoms such as vomiting diarrhea fever weight loss poor appetite poor nutrition headache and delayed puberty a word from very well keeping good records of your child of your child height and weight can make it a lot easier to evaluate a child with shorter stature or short height be sure to go to your regular well a child visit with your doctor and even at a sick visit ask them to measure your child height if it has not been done recently that's all about the fitness in this video i hope you all liked it definitely come in the next video with another content till then god bless you bye bye and take care